Someday I'm I'm gonna have to explain to my son that his family he has sisters. Um he has brothers that he actually um he's from a bloodline of Aryan Brotherhood and uh His grandfather, his grandfather actually, Florence Yard, um, used to run it. Um, <clears throat> he did 10 years one time when he was dealing with, um, what was the name again? He's from Allison's family. So if, if you're from um, that part of uh, Tucson, then it's like its own little world. It doesn't know anything. But if you know that family, he's actually from that family. Um, But he's from my family. <clears throat> and my family holds more weight in heaven. But. Um, someday I was always. Trying to tell him. You're my son. And I didn't want this war. I didn't want it to be like this. But this is. Um what it was going to be. And, you know, um, Peter has the same problem with uh, Xavier. So we both go through it together. Your name is Clayton. Your mom was, uh, your mom was a soldier and she wasn't strong enough to uh for me to hold her long enough to get her to be a good mother for you so you never had a chance to have a mother so i gave you my mother and you've been in um you know cps and all that but you remember i was there and I took care of you and I fought CPS for you to make sure you stayed where you were at because when I was fighting CPS, we were fighting over um, how a child should be raised. And when you were in mini school and you were um, fighting those kids and everything like that. So you're gonna remember Brandy and you're you're going to understand that she wasn't a good mother either, <clears throat> but she was very protective over you because she, um, at that time, had my spirit to be. At this point, I feel that you have enough understanding to, you understand? So, it's been a long time. And um, <clears throat> my wife, your mother, that I told you I was going to find you a mother, she sent you that $500 gift card. So when you meet her, you're going to understand the difference. All right. Um, You know, the hardest thing for me when you were knocking on the door saying, Daddy, are you mad at me? I wasn't mad at you. It was, uh, the spirit was telling me, get you used to not being um, close to me. It was a hard thing. So when anybody wants to talk about my character or 
who I am. One thing the Holy Spirit was really pissed off about is how I've been, I've been treated. And me, I, I don't know how to deal with that and I don't care. But God does. So, you remember um, my mother, who is your mother, changed your name just like um, she was really pissed off at me before I changed your name. I had to pay, I think it was $345 at the um, court to change your name. And once it got done, like she was really on me. I didn't understand why she was on me so much, but she was. And I, um, to some people, this will seem like rambling between me and you. I'll always be your daddy. You'll always mean everything to me, Clayton. Your daddy is a soldier. He had to take care of some things for you. And you're gonna see it. Now that it's coming together the way I wanted it to, I wanted to bring um, my wife into our family and let her see. I wanted to see Olivia. I wanted. I want her to um, really meet you guys. I want her to meet um, Joseph. I want her to meet Mary. I want it so she understands and she can sit there and just the difference. Um, someday, <clears throat> you know, someday you're going to meet people that we're going to offer you something. They're going to offer you meth. They're going to offer you fentanyl. They're going to offer you marijuana. They're going to offer you these things. I want you to remember the training I gave you. And then, um, you know, our family is special. Our family is different. And I want you to represent that name and stand up for the people that can't stand up for themselves. All right. That's the best way I can put it because you're so young. That's it. All right. I love you.